Here we're going to write an equation for this parabola, and I'm going to show you guys two forms. The first one is going to be the vertex form, and the second one is going to be the standard form. As we can see, this parabola right here, we have this vertex here, right? And I'm going to label that for you guys. It is negative 2, comma, positive 9. And I'm just going to start off with the vertex form of this parabola. So right here, I'm just going to say, we are going to use the form that y is equal to a, we don't know what it is yet, right? Times the parentheses, x minus h, and square that, and we add a k at the end. Well, when we have the vertex, in this case, it's the highest point, right? This is the h value, and this is the k value. Therefore, I can just plug in, right? So it looks like we will have y is equal to a, we don't know, and then x, we don't know. But the h, we know it's going to be negative 2. And this minus is from the original form. And the h is the negative 2. So put this down as negative, negative 2, like this. And we have that to the second power. At the end, we add the k value, which is the 9. So this is what we have. And now, how can we find out the a value? Well, this is how we can do it. You see, for this setup here, all we did was we used the vertex, which is negative 2, comma 9, and we know that's the h value, and that's the k value for the vertex. And whenever we have the x and y, we know it's going to be a point on the graph, right? So to get the a value, this is what we're going to do. We have the graph right here. Pick some easy point, and we just need to have one. And let me just use this one. How is it? We have this point on the graph, and we know this point here is going to be 0 for x and 5 for y. I'm just going to use this point. And if you would like, you can use this point, which is negative 5, 0. We can also use this point, 1, 0. Up to you. But I'm just going to use this point. I will write it down right here. It is 0, 5. This is a point on the parabola, and we know the first coordinate is the x value, and this one is the y value. This is just a point. This is um, the y-intercept. But you see, x and y. Earlier, this point was the vertex, so it's special. It's h, k. And now all we have to do is plug the y value into here and the x value into here, and we should be able to solve for a. And I see y is 5, and this is equal to a. We still don't know. I'll open the parentheses. This is x, which is 0. And you see, this is negative, negative 2, right? So it's going to be a plus 2. And we have that square, and then we add a 9 at the end. And now, this equation is, should be something that we can do it. And let's see what do we end up with. This is 5. This is equal to a times 0 plus 2 is just 2. Square that, we have 4. And we add a 9 to it. And we just have to solve for a right here. So I'm going to minus 9 on both sides. They will cancel, and it looks like we have 5 minus 9. That's negative 4, and this is equal to a times 4. And let me write this down as 4a. And to solve for a, all I have to do is divide both sides by 4. And you see that a is by itself is equal to negative 4 over 4, and a is equal to negative 1. We have all the ingredients now we need now. So if you want to have the equation in the vertex form, this is going to be the answer. We will have y is equal to a is negative 1. So I'm just going to plug in negative 1 for a. And I'll put on the parentheses, x minus, and we know the h, which is this one, right? And you see it is minus negative 2. So technically, this is a plus 2. I'm looking at this pretty much. And a is negative 1. And we continue, we have the square, and we have the plus 9. And this is right here is it. This right here is the vertex form of the parabola, and if you want to box this for the answer, that's great. And let me just write this down here. This is the vertex form. And in the meantime, I will also show you how we can get the standard form as well. And for the standard form, keep in mind, it is going to be ax squared plus bx plus c, right? So to get a standard form, it's pretty straightforward. Once we have the vertex form, all we have to do is 
multiply out this part and count by like terms after that. That's all. So we'll see. Uh, I'm just going to work this out first. Be sure you don't distribute the negative inside because we have to do the powers first. Right here, let me write it down for you guys. x plus 2 times x plus 2. I'm just going to work this out. And you see x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. And 2 times x is 2x. Together is plus 4x. And one more for the last 2 times 2, which is plus 4. Therefore, this is going to be right here. And we will see this is going to have negative 1 in the front. And open the parentheses x plus 2 squared is that, x squared plus 4x plus 9, plus 4. <laughs> and then we have the plus 9 after that. What do we do next? Well, of course, we can distribute the negative into the parentheses. And you see, we will have negative 1 times x squared, so that's a negative x squared. Negative 1 times 4x, that's negative 4x. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. And don't forget, we still have the plus 9. At the end, what can we do? Minus 4 plus 9, right? So we can combine like terms. So altogether, this is negative x squared minus 4x. This and that is positive 5. And we have this right here as the y. And this right here was the vertex form. And this right here is the equation in the standard form. And that's it.